you for your examination. Okay, that's a lot I'm going to talk. Now let me move on to the sodium valproate. As you know, it's uh, sodium valproate um, is a uh, most commonly used uh, anticonvulsant used in the treatment of epilepsy, anorexia, panic attacks, anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, migraine, bipolar disorder, as well as other psychiatric conditions requiring the administration of the mood stabilizer. So these are the uses and can be used to control the acute acute episodes of mania and acute stress reactions side effects can include tiredness tremors nausea vomiting and sedation uh, the intravenous formulations are used when oral administration is not possible okay so these are the uses what i'm talking about um uh, in pregnancy valproate has the highest risk of birth uh, defects of uh, any uh, any of the commonly used uh, anti-epilepsy drugs. However, some epilepsy can only be controlled by the valproate and the seizures also pose grave risk to the mother and the child. Look at this. If the mother is taking a seizure and she, I'm sorry, mother is was having a seizure and she's on valproate, okay, and she becomes a pregnant and then how do you treat it? Because the valproate has a very teratogen right teratogenic effect so how do you do how do you manage this patient this is very critical and very important step um, okay I will discuss on that later because uh, some um, studies shows that whatever drug she was taking before the pregnancy if it is controlled by that drug only then we have to continue anyhow with that drug only because prevention of uh, that uh, what you call is um, seizure is very important in a mother that's very important okay so you can terminate the pregnancy later on some of the common adverse effects include tiredness tremors sedation uh, gastrointestinal disturbances uh, in addition about 10 percent of users experience reversible hair loss so these are very important uh, side effects you should know about so it can cause also cause, cause uh, fulminant hepatitis okay it occurs usually in the children less than three years old um, in pregnancy, it can cause neural tube defects of the uh, in the offspring and should be avoided. That's a better thing. Um, there can be an attack there, tremors also. Okay, uh, so ra rashes can be seen, a thrombocytopenia can be seen. Okay, these are the important side effects you should know about. Okay, mechanism of action sodium valproate is a weak blocker of sodium ion channel. It is also a weak inhibitor of the enzyme that deactivate GABA such as GABA transaminase. It may also stimulate the synthesis of GABA but direct mechanism is not known. Because of its many mechanisms of the action, sodium valproate has efficacy in all partial and generalized seizures including absence seizures. So this is about the mechanism of action. Okay, there's an interaction. Uh, I just forgot to tell. In valproate increases the levels of phenobarbitone by inhibiting its metabolism. Okay, it displaces the phenytoin from a protein binding site and uh, decreases its uh, metabolism that causes a phenytoin toxicity. Okay, so and the carbamazepine and the valproate uh, both uh, induces each other's metabolism. That's also very important. Okay. So these are the important points you should know about the what you call uh, sodium valproate. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video on uh, sodium valproate. Take care. See you soon in the next amazing awesome video with me. And don't forget to tell your friends.